In our last two videos, we went over how to make this part. We did it with circles and we did it with construction lines. Now we're gonna add one more thing into the mix. It's called a fillet or chamfer, depending on what you wanna do, and we'll define a difference between them here in just a moment. Uh, but let's say I wanted to round off this line right here. So it's rounded, it's not a hard 90 degree edge, but it's rounded off. And I'll do the same thing on all of the corners of this object. There's two ways that I can do this inside of Inventor very quickly and very easily. Uh, to start off with, I'm gonna actually go ahead and edit extrusion one. So I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna to go to edit sketch. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna round off these lines here. To do that, I'm gonna go up to the fillet tool and I'm gonna say I want that to be an eighth of an inch or 0.125, which is the default setting. From there, I'm gonna click on my top line and my side line. And you'll see that I'll round it off. It'll also give me a tangent constraint saying that this arc is tangent. I can go through and do the same thing all the way around if I'd like. And if I want to add a chamfer, I can go to the drop down here and choose chamfer. A chamfer basically allows you to go through and do the same process. The only difference here is instead of being round, it's an angled cut. Now, it's generally going to be done at 45 degrees, but you do have some other options here. But in all honesty, I've never, ever had to use those options. I've always just used the default one at the default sizes. Once I'm done doing that, I can click Finish Sketch, and it's going to go ahead and it's going to give me an error message. And the reason why it's doing that is because if you look here at the browser, I'm in sketch one, which means everything is based off of that sketch and what I've done. I have a couple of features, especially over here and up here, that are dependent on the lines that I've already made. Now, when I've gone ahead and changed those lines, it gives me an error message. If I hit accept, I can see what the part will look like. It may or may not work. In this case, it should work. And you'll see that it does. But you'll also see here in the browser that extrusion three and extrusion four now have this little eye next to them because some of the geometry that was used to make them doesn't exist anymore. It's a simple thing to mess up, but you do need to make sure you're, you know about it just in case you get that error message. You wanna know what it means and how to get it set up. Now, luckily for us, if we don't wanna go through all that hassle, there are other ways of going ahead and creating a chamfer and a fillet. I'm gonna go ahead and undo all of the work I just did and get back to our original part. And from there, you'll see in our feature menu that I have a fillet tool. When I click on the fillet tool, I get a pop-up that's asked me for 0.125. It says edge, loop, or feature. Now I can go through and choose different things. If I just wanna select one line, I can automatically round off one line. If I say loop, I can go through and get an entire side done very quickly. So if I choose this one, it'll round off that entire area. And if I could choose feature, I can choose to fillet everything on there. You have a lot of options. And when I apply this, you can see that everything kind of rounds off very quickly and very easily. The other option I have is I can do a chamfer, which is a little less common, but super common in like woodworking and those type of things. Uh, so if I go up to the chamfer tool, again, I'm selected with the, again, I'm presented with the three different options here. I can set the distance and I'm just gonna go ahead and say, hey, I want these to be at 45 degree angles on the circles. When I hit apply, I can go through and see exactly what happened there. So I have 45 degree kind of conical look to that. And then the edges all, all rounded off. There's lots of ways to use this. This is just a quick tutorial on how to use it in a different manners and what it looks like when you do. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in our next video.